It was Monday the 31st of October 1904 when Evan Roberts held a meeting in his home church in the schoolroom next to the main church building. The prayer meeting had ended and the youth meeting followed with 18 presents. He told them of much of what had happened recently and encouraged them to get ready for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The youth seemed hard and non-responsive and as Evan called for people to make a public confession of Christ, they were very reserved. But over a few hours, every person submitted to Christ Jesus. There was no one massive breakthrough that night. But piece by piece, ground was taken from the enemy as people confessed Christ and as Roberts kept praying and urging others to respond. Over the next week, things began to move as people responded to the Lord. But the devil came in hard and attacked Roberts. The devil asked him, what need was there for you to come? when there were so many ministers already in this area. Satan was trying to tell Roberts that he was unqualified to be part of such a movement, but he overcame the doubter and continued in the work. By the end of the week, people were talking of the revival in their daily lives. Numbers were growing and people began to seek God for more. Soon revival was spreading around Wales and many people were being used by God. It was especially evident that women were playing important roles during the revival, which was unusual for that time. For Evan Roberts, he was invited to speak in many places. His style was unorthodox. Sometimes he would pray behind the pulpit or weep as he sought God. At times he would move in spiritual gifts, speaking directly into people's lives, even though this was uncommon and misunderstood at the time. Some called him a mind reader, others a leader of a false emotional revival. Often he would lead the people to pray, bend the church and save the world. Once he preached God's three gifts to the world are the Bible, his son, and the Holy Spirit. Have you received them? And remember, he will not come to stubborn people. If you are disobedient, ask him to bend you, not to save you now, but to bend you. Young women would sing and people would weep and stand up to confess Christ. Evan Roberts would also walk amongst the people testifying and urging them to respond. The informality of the meetings was a shock to many. The emphasis was upon each person giving themselves to Christ, to confessing faith in Him and accepting the Spirit. Often there was no formal sermon, but instead the testimonies, prayers, the singing of hymns and the urging of robbers became the message. The work was sharply criticised as a false revival and too emotional and this criticism by the older generation took a toll on the young revivalist. 